Hi, I'm Lori Maitland, and welcome to my YouTube channel, The 70s Pop Culture Box. Today, we are going to flash back to the year 1979, the year of disco, where it had disco artists like Donna Summer, Swiss-born French disco pop singer Patrick Chuvet, Canadian pop stars Franz Jolie and Tony Green from the Prelude Disco Years, sometimes Barry Manilow with Lady Flash backing up, sometimes Diana Ross and Sherilyn Bono from the Casablanca Disco Years under her stage name Cher, and disco groups such as The Village People, Love and Kisses, Liquid Gold with Ellie Hope on lead, The Ritchie Family, The Bee Gees, Chic, Sister Sledge, sometimes ABBA only from the 70s, The Sweethearts of Sigma, The Tramps, Tavares, and sometimes The Spinners who only released one disco album that same year entitled Dancing and Loving that features my favorite song that my Uncle Roosevelt Foster used to play years ago entitled Working My Way Back to You. When everyone loved the nightlife, danced on the disco around, chanted out loud in Biggie Wonderland, did the hustle, turned the beat around, heard percussion playing, had a Saturday Night Fever disco party to celebrate the dance of life and had a lot of great joy in their hearts, even though the wicked and evil radio personality Steve Dull demanded all the wicked villains to kill disco music and disco dancing that I am always satisfied with to upset most everybody else's motivation and cause them to suffer from low energy. I love disco, because it's always my cup of tea. In spite of all the mean and nasty, wicked and evil rock music critics who hate disco. So today from the disco era that happened that same year, we're gonna talk about a disco cut entitled Twilight Zone slash Twilight Tone, performed by the Grammy-winning pop vocal group, The Manhattan Transfer, with Janis Siegel singing the lead. The disco record of the song, Twilight Zone slash Twilight Tone, was originally released in 1979 while it hit big on both the American disco charts and pop music charts in the year 1980. At the age of four, when I heard this song on the radio, I thought it was sung by a black American disco queen from 1979, sounding like Mikkel Brown, who would later sing So Many Men, So Little Time. Then I thought it was black American disco diva Felicia Allen, who worked with Jacques Morali, Henry Bololo, the Ritchie family, and the Village People on her first debut album entitled Josephine Superstar, dedicated to the life of Josephine Baker, which is right before Felicia Ayers Allen, then her married name, Felicia Rashad. Then I thought it was Joyce Cobb after she sang Dig the Gold. When I heard it playing on Dance Fever with Denny Terrio and his dance female group, Motion, I thought it was sung by a black American R&B soul disco singer, Evelyn Thomas, after she cut a disco album called Have a Little Faith in Me which is five years before she sang her own dance hit from 1984 entitled High Energy. 
then I thought it was Cynthia Johnson from Lips Incorporated who had a disco smash funky town with the flip side all night dancing. Then I thought it was American powerhouse black disco diva Catherine Russell before she provided the uncredited lead vocal on the whole album First Be a Woman by Leonora O'Mealy. When I heard it playing on Soul Train with Jermaine Jackson and the Dramatics aired on Saturday, May the 24th, 1980, I thought it was sung by Gail Adams before she released only two disco albums, her first self-titled debut album from 1980 and her second and last album, Love Fever. Next thing I thought, it was Debbie Jacobs. But no, to my surprise, it was sung lead by Janice Siegel that I did not know in the beginning. When I saw the original video of this song on YouTube, it was bad, with people floating into space that I am not interested in, when it was too sci-fi for me. That's why I don't believe in Halloween stuff. Plus, in the music video of the song, the members from the Manhattan Transfer did not wear disco clothing. Instead, they wore space suits that didn't feel right. That is why I am not very fond about this original video of this song that they made years ago since that same year. So I prefer the discotheque version of this song done by the Manhattan Transfer where I can see all those people having a ball. Janice Siegel said, I could have been a disco dancer singing and dancing when performing Twilight Zone, the black American style, and moving my body to the disco beat just like pure silk, instead of me being a robot. That's what I should have done in the past. For the intro of Twilight Zone and Twilight Tone, I never like how the man said, With a key, you unlock a door to imagination beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sight. A dimension of sound. A dimension of mind. You're moving through a land of both shadow and substance of things and ideas. Guiding you through this wondrous journey is the hypnotic sound of the twilight tone. Which is a little bit different than... You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Wow, that's a little bit different. The spoken bridge I don't like, where he also said, Submitted for your approval one Mr. Miller, who's about to take a trip into oddness and obsolescence. Well, one Mr. Miller means Glenn Miller from the Big Band era. And the last few closing spoken lines that are part of the story that he was telling from Twilight Zone and Twilight Tone, which I don't like, were Through a zone whose boundaries are that of imagination, accompanying him on this journey is the mesmerizing sound of the Twilight Tone. So I prefer the singing part where Janice Siegel sings as a powerhouse disco diva sounding like Mikkel Brown, Evelyn Thomas, who released her first album entitled I Want to Make It on My Own, and Debbie Jacobs. On this disco hit by Manhattan Transfer, the string and brass orchestra was stripped. However, I love the sound of the bongos playing, done on this tune by the late Jeff Porcaro from the pop rock band Toto. 
Are you ready to give the gift of disco dancing and to prove that life is better when you dance? Yeah! Are you ready to have a festive disco night at Studio 54 in order to get the disco mirror ball spinning around? Just to dance and sing along with Janice Siegel on the record? Yeah! I'm sure that we can. So here's the nightlife disco version of Twilight Zone slash Twilight Tone done by the Manhattan Transfer with Janice Siegel singing the lead. Here in the twilight. 